Hello guys, welcome to 3030 Death War Redux. This is a remake of a game released in 2007. I didn't play the original, so we'll just be heading into this blind to check it out. I know the game is a top-down 2D space exploration privateer sort of thing. So let's just get started. Act 1, the Largo Cargo. You asked to see us, sir? What's on the agenda, boss? The Largo, of course. Until we track down the Largo. Warn off all the freelancer salvages. Kill the ones who don't get the message. Ah, yes, sir. Right, that ship is ours. It's a big ship, we'll find it soon, sir. When it went missing, it was stuffed with gold, boys. 900 tons. Now go hunt down those salvages. So we're looking for treasure. Like a Spanish galleon going down with gold in the Caribbean, except in space. So... We're in a derelict spaceship here. Crate found presented to transfer to ship. Let's do that. Found 11 tons of titanium in the crate. There's a lot of debris floating around here. Uh, but nothing else we can do except leave again. So we're heading out to space. Grab our pixelated spaceship. I'm back. All okay. Okay, does it look okay? Who the hell is that? Someone's dead on the floor. I found him stuffed in an old cargo locker. Looks like he's been dead for weeks. If he got boarded now, we are in big trouble. Kent, did you search the body? No identification, no money. And a hole in his head the size of Lake Michigan. Looks like a small caliber round, close range. This new ship is literally full of surprises. Sure is. Shit, I do five minutes of salvaging. And there's a murdered corpse <laughs> in my uh, midships. We must jettison him. Agreed. Right. Kent, you give him another search for info. Can I open an investigation? In your own time. Last case, put him in an unmarked crate. The crate of rotten yumper beans. Good idea, I'll jettison it en route to the station. First, I'll get us out of this asteroid field. I like how the main character looks like Indiana Jones if he was transplanted to uh, space and modern era. Target nearest station. So press the D key. So now we have something to uh, move towards. And engage on W. I'm uh, piloting on the uh, arrow keys right now. So now I press W. Ah, so we ended some hyper light speed, I guess, or something. For a little while. Try cut out, try again. W. There we go. I like the background music. This actually looks pretty good. Get ready to disengage drive. So let's guess that's the W key again. Yeah, here we go. W now, get closer to the station for comms. Uh, it must be, uh, it, we must still need to go toward the north here. That green line on the radar. There's all kinds of stuff out in space, so I wasn't sure if we already had passed it. To dock, D station, tap for comms and one for dock. Request docking clearance. 
Please wait. So here we are in the station. Use arrow keys to move. Officer Gra, are you John Falcon? John Falcon? Yeah. <laughs> what can I do for you? Sir, we scanned your ship, rig number, when you docked. I'm afraid to have to inform you that your ship is registered as stolen. So now we have some dialogue options. We can say this is bullshit or I just bought that ship. No, I'm someone else. I guess you don't get paid much. <laughs> Let's just say two, number two. I just bought that ship. That's unfortunate. It's registered as stolen from Sog Dongo. Do you know that person? No, I bought it from a guy called Soet. Frank Soet. We are looking into the matter. But we'll have to take your ship. We've been authorized to give you uh, 1500 credits and issue you an old shuttle. <laughs> an old shuttle? Well, I guess that's something. So I have some more dialogue options here. Let's say, uh, prove you're really an officer. This could be a non internet based scam. I read about those. Sorry about this, sir. Uh, it's true. Take my badge number if you like. Also, I have this weapon. <laughs> yeah. Only police can have weapons on stations. So let's say, uh, but I just recovered some salvage. Do I at least get that back? So I can sell it. That would be something. That is still on the ship. All cargo and fitted upgrades have to stay on it. Great. Alright, let's just say goodbye to this guy. Goodbye, officer. Sorry about that, sir. Jobs and missions. Use the job console to the right of the entrance to find freelance work. Interact with people and objects by pressing enter. So here's the job console. Freelance jobs are posted to this screen. You can use them to earn some cash. Starting out with some local jobs might be a good idea. Use the mouse to control this screen. So there's some text here that is not a uh, part of the missions. Take the time to look for junk around the system for small rewards. No need to accept this mission as long as you have a clear criminal record. Every piece of junk you shoot, you'll get 250 credits. So we can always do that. And then there's one here that needs a translator. Which we don't have, so we can't read it. This one pays 4,000. This one 2,000. This one 5. I think we'll try this taxi here with a low amount. It's probably less dangerous. Passage required to uh, Rob Bar Station 2. I'd like to get a ship. You'll get paid 2,700. Destination. Yeah. Yeah, so let's do that. Accept. And that should be uh, fine, I guess. To check out how that works. <laughs> trade screen. Use the trade console on the right of the entrance. Ah, uh, it's right here before. Let's click that. This screen is a space trader's second home. You can trade goods on the station's market, acquire equipment and weapons, or buy a new ship. The quality of equipment varies from station to station. So we have the 1500 that we got. Let's take a look at the ships. So if we had just a little bit more, we'd be able to buy this Carlson Eva jet suit. We can take a look at it. It has some statistics. Uh, it's also wanted pirates. So we can make a lot of credits pirate hunting if we had a stronger ship, I guess. Upgrades. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. So we could afford these dust ball missiles. Let's look at the info. There's just turn rate and damage. So I don't know if it would be a good idea to buy them. It's also this target imager. Allows the pilot to see a target's representation in the target information screen. Low fuel reminder. <laughs> that might be handy. Combat ship scanner, what's that? Offers a tactical readout of the target ship's shields and hull. Data disks for space stories, opinions and flying tips. Alright, uh, goods, here's what we can buy. Uh, we don't know what to buy for where we're going, so let's skip that. Let's just take a look at the news. Terrorist opinion, pirate base discovered. 
Police have found a pirate base in an outer rim asteroid field. That's all well and good. Locks and crests. Press P to open the personal menu. Then press O to bring up the contact screen. Here you can find contact information you've gathered and the location if known. So Frank Soet is the one we bought the ship from. We don't know where he is. Kent the droid on the loose where we are right now and the same with Vasquez. So these are our two crew. So that's our two crew members. And data disks. Yeah, we don't really have any. Ah, oh, we do have two. What would I do without alcohol to dull these irritations? Lots actually, I can take it or leave it. So I bought a ship with a damage split drive. The things are designed to last decades. I bet it's that fucking Frank. He's a good mechanic, so I guess it was just a faulty drive plate. Better get myself docked to repair it. As for that extra cargo, that was weird, but not my problem. And I'm not recording the details here. Let's just read the other one. I don't believe it. Frank sold me a stolen ship. What the hell, man? And now I'm stuck with this lame ass shuttle. I can't even split. Better earn some quick money to buy a speeder or a bug ASAP. Oh well, won't take me long. I know the tricks of the trade, as Ken says. Keep a pessimistic worldview, optimistic outlook, a setback sure, but I'm healthy. Let's go get it. So that's uh, the diary of the main character. So let's go over here and see if we can talk to some people. And the tutorial says we should leave the station when we're ready. But here's Vasquez, a crew member. Let's talk to her. Let's say I lost the ship. I heard it on the grapevine. I guess I'm not the most lucky captain. Sorry, Vasquez. Let's ask what happened to Kent. That's a good question. I guess he is around a docking base. I expect it's opening doors somewhere. Ha, <laughs> sounds right. Keep your eye out for it, will you? Okay, will do. In other news, I'm hearing rumors. A new derelict freighter with a valuable cargo. Shame we just lost our ship. Yeah, so let's uh, move on. Uh, we can ask her if she wants a drink first. Let's do that. Want a drink? I've had a couple already. But if you're buying, sure. I think I need something strong. So let's finish up there. I'm going. I'll try to get compensation. May as well try. There's a bunch of guys here we can talk to. Gebel, Gruff, Alistair Volan Vader, and Savannah G, Esteban Toma, and Maya. So let's talk to Savannah G. Hi there. Yes. What's up? Are you a trader in this system? I'm a freelance nav officer. My captain ship just got impounded. And another ship impounded. Yeah, probably gang related. I'm glad to be freelance in these stations. Stolen ships, police bureaucracy. I ain't got time for that. So what do you have time for? Me? I like to paint. Stereoscopic landscapes. Nice, sounds difficult. There are techniques to it. So now we can either lie and say I paint too, or the greatest techniques, or what landscapes. Yes, let's say uh, I paint too. Really? Sure, now and then. Well, tell me about it sometime. Right now, I'm trying to get laid. <laughs> uh, so that was apparently the wrong answer. Nothing happened. All right, let's get out of here. So we'll go to the exit. And here's the hangar. Navigating space, press M to open the map and press C on the map to switch to the current system. So here's the map and then C for the Andenti system. Yeah, we can use the mouse here. Uh, I think we were headed to Rob Bar Station 2 with our passenger. So we can just click that. So I have set that destination. I'll just turn the ship around a little bit here. I don't know if we can fly into the station. No, it's just part of the background. Um, so we need to go this way to get to the Rob Bar station. So let's just press W. The ship doesn't have sp split capability. You'll need to buy a new ship. Does that mean it can't go fast? <laughs> Ha 
<laughs> so I guess it will take a long time to get to Rob Bar Station 2. Ship without a split drive. It will take a very long time to travel any significant different distance without split. You can focus on nearby station jobs until you can afford a split capable ship. Ah, so the, the station's right here, so it was not very far away. So let's press D and taps for communications and we'll ask for, for docking. Please wait. And she's wearing a bikini, the traffic controller. Good job, well done. So let's just see. Ah, okay, we automatically got the money for finishing the transport mission. So now we have 4,000, so we could buy a new ship. So that's the job console. <laughs> and a guy lying there drunk, I guess, outside of the barn. And a bunch of people. Oh, here's Frank Suet, the guy that sold us the ship that they say is stolen. Let's talk to him. So we can say, hey, Frank, you asshole. Or you could say, uh, you sold me a hot ship, Frank. Yeah, let's say the second one, so he know why we are angry. What ship? I don't recall a ship. Frank, come on. Oh yeah, the Loco Detra, great ship. Yeah, it was stolen. What, another one? Oh man, I got sold some bad ships. I bought them from a guy down near Farpoint. I got the green slips for them too. There's no way I could have known they were stolen. That's besides the point. I'm nearly 2 million out of pocket. Yeah, sorry about this. <laughs> so we can, uh, don't make me punch you, Frank. Or we can say I'm asking you a nice Frank. Let's say the second one. And I'd like to fix this. Trouble is, I don't have the money. What? You spent 2 million credits? Yeah, sorry. I'm due uh, compensation here. I'm working on how I can repay people. You probably want to spit in my face, right? I'm more of a puncher than a spitter, Frank. Cool, your jets. I'll work on compensation. For now, I got some work you may like. It will pay above normal rates. With what money? The money's not mine. I'm the middleman in a couple of deals. You game. So we can say, uh, yeah, well, I sure need the money, or not right now, I'm too angry. Well, I guess it would be pretty stupid to trust him again, but we'll just do it anyway and say uh, we need the money. Okay, you gotta find Jimmy Chow. He's in this system. Visit nearby stations. If he's there, talk to him. I'm just interested in how much you're going to pay me. Chow will offer you some premium rates. You better feel lucky, Frank. Why? Lucky I don't punch you in the face. Sorry, dude. So I think we might have enough for the cheapest upgrade ship. So let's just take a look at that. Ships here. Yeah, we can buy this uh, Carlton Eva jet suit. Starting out at in-system package delivery or junk destruction. Stuck away from your ship after a weekend partying. An Eva jet suit will get you station to station with its basic split drive active. It's as fast as a shuttle, but it has minimum cargo capacity. So I guess we could get that and do uh, transport missions because it has a split drive. So let's buy it. So we bought that and then we'll go to the goods screen and refuel if we need to. Ah, it's full already. So that's no problem. So let's take a look at the job console here. So we have another fairly easy mission here, taxi mission. Uh, howdy partner, I'd like to get a ship. Would you help me? I don't have much money since my wife died. 2900 is all I have, we'll accept that. Because that's in the system. And then we'll just leave the station. So this ship is very small. Take a look at the map here and zoom in on our sector. And this is where we're headed. So let's sit there right now. So let's see if we can engage the split drive now. There we go. So now we're moving with speed. I just have to make sure we don't overshoot. It doesn't look like I can actually turn the ship. 
while I'm in split mode. So we need to actually uh, align it pretty well before we enter split mode. Ah, the station's right here. So let's just dug up. The second warning. You again. I already warned you once. And I ignored you once. We are here to give you a final warning. Keep out of the salvage business pair. What's his name? Oh, I can't remember. The name's Falcon. John Falcon. Falcon A. It's the name I go by these days. Okay, Mr. Falcon, listen to my face. Yeah, it's an ugly face at that. Here in Andinti, salvage work is prohibited. Oh, really? By... By us. We work for a pirate lord. Freelance salvagers are not welcome. So that's the way it is around here. I... It is what it is. You have been warned. Listen, I don't do salvage work anymore. Too dangerous. True that. I just do courier jobs now, delivering packages. Thanks for the warning though. Let's go. Righto. So let's head over here and see if we can find Jimmy Choo. Doesn't look like he's here. So we have a package that we're running around with, so we probably have to give it to someone to finish the mission. This looks like Chewbacca sitting there in the bar, but we can't talk to him. So here's Emmett Elemin. Here's your package. So that's the one we're supposed to give the package to. Hey, thanks for delivering this. I'll just say I'm a professional. Yeah, thanks again. Speedy delivery. I think it's from my friend. That's nice, but I have to get going. Thanks again. So let's see how much money we have now. 18,000. And no Jimmy Choo. So let's just um, go over here. Take a look at the uh, trade console. So now we can upgrade. We can get this big speeder. Its basic split drive is faster than uh, an EVA suit, so it can reach anywhere within a system in reasonable time. And it has 4 tons for cargo. And 3 cabins. No missile racks and no turret mounting, so we still can't do combat, but this would be better overall. But let's just take a look at the other option up here. Back MK1. It has 2 missile racks. But no turret mounting. It's an all rounder. It has a cargo size of 24 tons, so we can uh, trade with it as well. One of the first versions of the now famous backline. It shows its age too, with a slow turn and engine speed. The only saving grace is the price and the difference ratio. If you're looking to get your foot on the ship's owner's ladder, I'd recommend this little build. Yeah, let's just buy this. Ah, we have to sell the fuel first. Just sell that. Sell all. Go back to ships. And we'll pick up this and see if we can get some combat. So we can see how that works. Upgrades. So we'll want to buy... Uh, missiles. And it had two slots for that. Uh, we should buy this combat ship scanner also, if we can. So 
So we bought that. There's also a tractor beam, but I don't know exactly what we would be using that for. Let's take a look at the info. Mine slowly with this tractor beam. Target an object like an asteroid or cargo container. Move closer to the target. When you are close enough, the tractor beam button turns green. Click on this to engage. So we can do some mining if we want it. I guess we'll just buy it. In case we want to do mining. I also want to pick up one of these just to see what they are. Advertisement. We bought that, so it should be in a data disk. In a personal lock here. Let's read it. Best diamond prices. Due to high level radiation from the K-class sun, production and development of diamonds is up in the Aerolol system. If you are lucky, you can find reduced prices for a short time only. Why not try the inexpensive uh, Bengal restaurant while you're on board either of the Kras stations or just have a trip around Kura's famous diamond mine production facilities? You won't regret a trip to Aerolol. So that's a trade chip that we just bought. So let's go see if we can find a fight. But I guess we should check the uh, job console first. There might be a combat mission. No, it's all taxi and courier missions. Rob bar station free. We've not been there, so let's accept this package delivery. For Lucian Bassetta. And if we uh, survive a little bit of combat, if we can find any, then we'll go there and see if Jimmy choose there. Pirates beware, somebody <laughs> dead and spikes there in the background. Lucian Bassetta. There's Jimmy Chu. I think Lucian Bassetta is the one we need to deliver the package to. Here's your package. I didn't order a package. Are you sure it's for me? That was what the instructions said. Guess I'll take it then. Wonder what it is, thanks. Have fun with it. After I find out what it is, I might. Hope you like it. So now we can talk to Jimmy Chow. Looks a little bit Eastern in his uh, outfit. Hello, do I know you? You have premium rate jobs? Now let's say, uh, hey Frank recommended you. Old Sody, man, I haven't seen him in a while. How do you know him? He sold me a hot ship. You mean he sold you a stolen ship? What's he got mixed up in now? He said you had jobs with premium rates. Which could help me get back on track. My friend Frank might have been the best thing to ever happen to you. How so? He recommended me, didn't he? So what can you do for me? You ever heard of uh, the terrorists? What? Aren't they just a pirate gang? Is that what you think? That's what I've heard. You're so wrong. How so? You'll have to find out more on your own. The group does a lot of good work. By being pirates? <laughs> Never mind. Listen, I'm more interested in the jobs. Premium rate jobs. Hmm. Alright, tell me more about the Taoists. I can tell you a little, but you'll have to get into their good books by doing some stuff for them. Stuff? Nothing dodgy, just jobs. They pay better than the job console. You interested? Why not? In that case, I have a contract for you. His name is Katafly. He's in Sofofia. Sofofia? That's the next system south on the map. Yeah, you'll need a split drive. Katafly is quite high in the group, I think. You can trust him. Thanks for the info. Thank Least I can do. Oh, you'll need fuel here. Have some on me. To get there, target and engage your split drive. Don't worry, you'll speed up when you leave the system. If you need more help now, talk to me. I know the system well. I'll help all I can. But if you have to go, say flying. So 
So we'll engage split drive and head down south. Let's just take a look at the map. Yeah, that's right there. And there's only one station, Xiaomi station. So we'll uh, set our destination there. And engage the drive. So once we get out of a current system, the speed should increase. And you can see the ETA up here. <laughs> 21 minutes, so hopefully that should drop a lot when we uh, exit the system. You see our own ship down there, now it's speeding up. Exiting the current system and heading into Sophia. So now we're in Sophia and we're entering from over here and heading down towards the system, the station. So it's just, oh, we're passing it right now, so we <laughs> need to realign. Let's request dogging. The hit. This paper is crap. Why buy it then? I'm surrounded by idiots. Excuse me, sir. Pass your time with something not so crap. Nah, it keeps me informed. Misinformed. It is what it is, <laughs> Captain. Another freelance salvager. Ah, fucking spacers looting my derelicts. These guys are busting my fucking balls. His name is Falcon, John Falcon. We warned him twice already. Right then, take him out. You, you're not busy. Me? Why me? You said, it is what it is. I fucking hate that phrase. Meaningless. Okay, sure, I'll wait for him outside the station. And BAM! Right up his shitter. If we're lucky, Falcon won't be armed. Report back to me when it's done. Righto. I sir. In five minutes, John Falcon will die. So I guess he'll be waiting for us when we leave the station. In a ship. I can't remember who we were supposed to talk to. Ah, this guy, yeah. KJ Fly. Hi, I'm Falcon. Jimmy Chow said you may have some work for me. Yeah, I was expecting you. Yeah, I haven't seen him in months. Who, Jimmy Chow? Yeah, how was he? Seemed well enough. Good, good. Are you Taoist Pirate Gang? No, just proof trading partners. I'm not bothered, just what I heard. You heard wrong. Our business is private. Jimmy Chow made you sound like a cult leader. That Jimmy is always exaggerating. You want this job or what? I'll do it. If the pay is okay, 12,000. Sounds fair. You'll need a tractor beam, we already have that. Falcon, sure? Sure. To be clear, the job is... One, two, three, can do. To get a tractor beam, use the trade computer. They should sell them here. I'm on my way. Act two, the prophecy. I don't understand why we can't continue. The nanos work perfectly. Once these last species are finished, we can begin terraforming. I'll tell you why, because now some of us are helping these scum, nobody seriously believes these stories, do they? They sure do, they've been around for years. Every time and anything half matches the tale of the ambiguous legends, they want to wait and see. But what is it this time? One legend tells of someone known by the name of a bird, <laughs> and that must be us Falcon, and that they cause much of wailing. Oh, that again? Who was it last time? Oh yeah, I remember. That Jeff Eagle, wasn't it? It's quite preposterous. I like it. You and some of the elders have brain fade. This legend is the only thing stopping them at the moment. These beings are disgusting. They're making my life like a urinal full of spunk. Ew, sir, please. Are we uh, to wait until this prophecy junk is over? I want to release a new wave of nanos right now. 
but the council is scared and uh, withholding access. They believe this prophecy and are massing ships against it. Then what are we to do? We'll keep a lookout for another chump with a bird name. So I'm not sure exactly sure what the mission was. Cargo container in need of pickup. I need you to pick up cargo container 454 from near Sexta Station 2 in the Listy system. Then bring it back to me here on Xiaovi Station in the Safia system. You will need a tractor beam. The fee is 12,000. Just leave it outside the station. I'll get it later. So let's just leave the station and we'll probably get attacked. By the hitman sent for us. Transmission from JBO carrier signal confirmed. Here's your last and final warning. Yeah, so we are getting attacked here. Yeah. By this guy. I'm not sure how we fire missiles. Ah, we do uh, on the return key. There we go. So we just killed him. With a shot to the head with a missile. Can we pick up this stuff here? You don't have anything targeted, use F to target. So now I target the cargo container and we have a tractor beam here. You can press T to use it. So we'll get this cargo. Seven tons of hydrogen fuel. That's an easy enough fight, but that's how uh, combat work, I guess. So turning speed is paramount as well as loadout. So now we will have to finish this mission for Jimmy Chow. But we're going to leave off here, guys. That's the game. It's still in early access, so they're still working on putting in more stuff that you can do. Expanding on the original. I'll put the link in the description. Pick it up if you think it looks interesting. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.